SpaceX's Starship program has made remarkable strides in 2023. As we look forward to 2024, expectations are high for what the next chapter of the Starship project might bring. This year, SpaceX aims to build upon its previous successes, leveraging lessons learned from two fully integrated Starship launches to propel the company into new frontiers of space technology. However, as with any groundbreaking project, challenges and questions loom large. What does the future hold for Starship? How will SpaceX continue to innovate and lead in this competitive space? We're going to tackle these important questions. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel for regular updates on the Starship and other SpaceX projects. SpaceX's agenda for 2024 marks a significant leap in the company's already groundbreaking achievements. The company plans to undertake an ambitious 144 missions, a substantial increase from the 100 missions targeted for 2023. In 2023, SpaceX set a new record by conducting 74 orbital missions, the highest ever for a private enterprise in a single year. The company is not just breaking its own records, but is also significantly outpacing the entire space industry. This rapid growth in launch cadence from an average of one mission every 3.9 days to an estimated one every 2.5 days in 2024 showcases SpaceX's unparalleled efficiency in the sector. A key driver of this increase is the Starlink Internet Satellite Mega Constellation project, with 5,000 operational satellites currently in orbit and approval to deploy up to 42,000 more, including 12,000 Starlink satellites, SpaceX is revolutionizing global internet coverage. This project alone demands a high frequency of launches. Moreover, the development of the Starship rocket is a critical aspect of SpaceX's future plans. This fully reusable rocket is designed for missions to Mars and beyond, representing a giant leap in space travel capabilities. Despite initial difficulties, SpaceX is preparing for Starship's third test flight, which, if successful, could lead to a significant increase in its operational role. SpaceX's journey from conducting a few launches a year to aiming for 144 in 2024 reflects not just technological advancement, a few decades ago, such a feat would have seemed nearly impossible. Now SpaceX stands alone in its ability to achieve such high-frequency launches, especially with a vehicle as large and complex as the Starship. In comparison, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, once considered a potential competitor to Starship, has yet to conduct a single public test. Both SpaceX and Blue Origin started with high hopes and bold promises to revolutionize space travel, yet their paths have diverged significantly over time. SpaceX's Starship, designed for missions to Mars and beyond, represents a significant leap in space travel capabilities. The company has demonstrated remarkable progress, particularly in increasing its launch frequency and undertaking ambitious missions. In contrast, Blue Origin's new Glenn has encountered a series of delays and setbacks. Initially scheduled for a 2020 launch, the new Glenn's first flight was postponed to late 2021 and then again to late 2022. These delays were attributed to a combination of technical challenges and significant financial implications, particularly after Blue Origin was not selected for the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 by the U.S. Space Force. This decision was a considerable blow to Blue Origin, as it implied a loss of potential revenue and necessitated a reassessment of their development strategy for New Glenn. The reality today shows SpaceX far ahead in terms of operational capability and launch frequency. Starship, despite its own developmental challenges, is on a path to becoming a pivotal vehicle in space exploration. On the other hand, New Glenn, once seen as a potential competitor to Starship, is still working towards its first launch. The development of the Starship is centered around extensive testing and iteration. This involves building and testing a series of prototypes, each designed to gather specific data for subsequent versions. The current lineup, including prototypes S26, S28, S29, S30, S31, and the upcoming S32, along with boosters like B10, B11, B12, and potentially B13 and B14 illustrates this approach. While the number of prototypes might appear excessive, this method is integral to SpaceX's development process. Each prototype undergoes rigorous testing, 
providing essential feedback for refining the spacecraft's design and capabilities. Predicting the exact number of additional prototypes before Starship becomes fully operational is difficult. SpaceX's development trajectory is influenced by various factors, including the outcomes of each test and the ongoing technological advancements. However, given SpaceX's track record and ambitious objectives, it's likely that the company will continue to develop and test additional prototypes over the next few years. The anticipation surrounding SpaceX's Starship version 2 is also high, and recent announcements by Musk have shed light on what we can expect from this next generation of the spacecraft. Starship version 2 is set to bring significant improvements over its predecessor, Starship version 1. One of the main differences in Starship version 2 is its increased propellant capacity. This upgrade will allow the spacecraft to carry more fuel, thus potentially extending its range and capability for longer missions, including interplanetary travel. Additionally, Musk has indicated that Starship version 2 will have a reduced dry mass, meaning the weight of the rocket without payload will be lower. This reduction in weight is a critical factor in improving the efficiency and performance of the spacecraft. Another important aspect is the focus on improving the reliability of Starship. Musk has emphasized that the spacecraft is intended to carry many people on numerous flights, making reliability a top priority. This is in line with SpaceX's goal of making Starship a versatile vehicle for various missions, from satellite deployments to deep space exploration. Furthermore, the upcoming Starship version 2 might incorporate the next-gen Raptor engine, known as Raptor 3. This new engine is expected to have a higher specific impulse, generate more thrust, around 20% more, and crucially, be robust enough to eliminate the need for a heat shield. The Raptor 3 engines are anticipated to deliver approximately 269 tons of thrust, a significant increase from the 230 tons of thrust provided by the Raptor 2 engines. The removal of engine shielding could lead to substantial mass reduction, further enhancing the spacecraft's performance. To accommodate these changes, including the increase in propellant volume, there might be alterations to the shape of the fuel tanks and a potential extension of Starship's height by 16 to 33 feet. This would enable expanded fuel capacity and an extended range for missions, solidifying Starship's role as a true interplanetary transport vehicle. In preparation for the transition to Starship version 2, SpaceX plans to complete and launch four or five more Starship V1 prototypes. The insights gained from these upcoming flights will be crucial in informing the development of the next generation rocket. For 2024, Ship 28 is poised to take center stage for the third orbital test flight, especially with the focus on Ship 28 for their third orbital test flight. This test flight is expected to be a significant milestone potentially involving Booster 10, one of the latest in SpaceX's series of booster prototypes. The tentative scheduling of the third inaugural flight for early 2024 underlines SpaceX's rapid development pace. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.